Well, guys, you ask for it. We are at the Older Manor, located at 1097 North Broadway in Yonkers, a site of many historical buildings. But today, we are addressing the Older Manor. As you can see, there is uh, Joan and Desiree, they're waiting for us. They're gonna give us a, a history about this building. Many of us live in Yonkers, but we have no idea about the history behind Yonkers. Well, we're gonna get to know now. We're going to change that. So, Joan, thank you. Thank you for, uh, for the invitation, for the tour. Thank you. How are we going to do this? Are we going to go inside? You want to give me a little bit uh, of history before we go in? Well, let's uh, lay some ground rules a little bit uh, quickly. There's some areas that are off limits for safety reasons. Um, the, and there are some areas that are just offices, um, some of the servants' quarters. But we're going to show you um, most of the highlights of Alder Manor. So welcome to Alder Manor. So let's go in. Yeah. So you guys know before you start asking what Let's, uh, what's in this place? What is in that place? Well, you know what? Let's stop right here at the entrance. We're already going to stop. So, um, the first thing I want to say is that you may not know it, but Alder Manor is very famous. You see it in TV, you see it in movies all the time for decades now. So right at the entrance, you have these beautiful doors. And here's just one example. That is Kanye West. That's Kanye West for his monster video, um, right at these front doors. So we are, we've had a lot of celebrities here, but um, come on in. So we are going to show you as much as we can, but if for whatever reason you see that we are not going to any further in a particular section of the building, it's because for safety reasons, we are not allowed to go there. But we will show you most that we can possibly show you. So right in the foyer here, if you just want to stop, these are these beautiful um, terracotta leaves. And what I think about when I look at these is I, I think about when Alder Manor was left completely derelict um, for a bunch of years. And some of these things are not even completely attached because vandals actually came in with crowbars and tried to get them off the walls. So there are some things that are missing, but we're you know lucky that we we have a lot remaining. So come on in. So um, Alder Manor was built in 1912. It was built by um, really famous architects, um, Career and Hastings. Mm -hmm. They were socialites. They built the Frick. They built the New York Public Library. They built the Manhattan Bridge. Um, and they were hired by William Boyce Thompson. And I'll tell you a little bit more about him if you want to just take a quick look at the room. These are um, um, limestone inside and outside. The, the, the whole place is created out of limestone. Wow. Yeah, I know. Do we know where these limestone came from? You know, I, I'm finding different things about that um, because next door is the Lenoir Preserve. And that actually I've heard was quarried on site for a lot of their building that the stone was. Um, but I just heard that a lot of limestone came by rail. So it's possible it, came, it, it also came by rail. Um, so this is the, the, the main room. You can tell that the architects that built this place, they, um, they built bridges because you can see you know, the expanse um, and the, the structure, how, how big everything is. And I brought a couple. So let me, as Joan is uh, checking her notes, let me pan the camera so you can see exactly how the main room looks like. That's the stairs that's going upstairs. We will go through that later. Now, Rue, this entrance is going to be our grand entrance when we restore and we reopen it. So yes, we will have weddings, baby showers, retirement functions, but I want people to start thinking out of the box. This is going to be an event center that's also centered around climate solutions. And in addition to that, conferences, seminars, you can do many large events here. There will also be 40 rooms that you can use that you have to book out as well. So you can have out of town guests coming right here to Yonkers to host your events. Churches, nonprofits, 
for-profit organizations, galas can be hosted here, conferences, seminars, weddings. We want to make it an inclusive space for everyone. Weddings? So yes. if I want to get married, if this is the place? If you want to get place? married, I will show you the slight and light touches we're going to make to reopen this space, and it will be accessible and available. No, Desiree, maybe somebody who's watching this says, okay, maybe it's a place that I want to consider to have my wedding or a social event or, or filming, whatever, filming, photography, photog whatever that event might be. Okay. Who do I call? Info at theplant.com. They can email us and we will get more information on what's available right now. So We're if not you're currently filming okay. or recording at the moment. But so we'll who are you going to call? You just heard it. Call me. <laughs> call Desiree. We or will email me. We will repeat this information as we go forward. Yeah. We're going to go to the music room now. Um, I made you a little scrapbook for while you're here, just so um, you can see. Um, here's Beyonce right in this room. This is, I think, one of her perfume commercials. Now I'm going to pull this. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to show you. Here's a um, here's a great Law and Order episode we filmed in this room with those pillars in the background. And I just want to show you one more. This is um, Kelly Clarkson. This is a video she made a couple of years ago, um, right in this room. And I did get to take some of those flowers home, which was really great. Come on. And we'll show you the, um, the music room next. And all of these rooms have these really special um, little paintings at the entrance. Like this one, you'll see um, these hand-painted crests with a sun and a moon. And um, there's still a lot to uncover here and learn about, like you know, where those came from. And then we have this beautiful hand-painted ceiling. Now let me tell you guys a little secret. This is my very first time I walked into this uh, mansion. And as soon as I walked in, I had goosebumps all over me. You did. You saw it. I show you the goosebumps. You did. The energy is here. It is here. You, feel, you ever felt that? Every time I come into this space. Unbelievable. Every time I come into this. What space. about you, Joan? No goosebumps for you? Well, I used to live here. I was oh, the, yeah? Yes. I was the caretaker with my husband. We met here. We fell in love here. Wait a minute. You met children. your husband here? Yes. yes. We had our children here. And um, uh, so uh, uh, I'm, uh, I'm uh, completely uh, attached. <laughs> you made him here too? The all energy. It's all about the energy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm attached. I'm, I'm really attached to this, to this space. Um, I've been here through a couple of owners. And it's one of the things I'm really excited about is that um, this, this project now, it's the right time. It's, it, it's, it's going to be amazing. Um, they're just about, they're redoing the roof right now. Um, and you know, it makes me want to cry. So um, guys, work is in progress at this time. Later on, on the filming, as we roll down, you're going to see the projection of how the manor is going to look like when everything is done. Amazing. Welcome to the library. So uh, William Boyce Thompson, the owner, he was born um, he he was born in Alder Gulch, Montana, and that's why he named this the Alder um, the Alders. Um, he went to um, like a really fancy boarding school when he was growing up, and he was the, one of the only people that really knew about mining because he came from the West. So he ended up hitting it really big on Wall Street, making a ton of money. He was one of the richest people in the United States. And he had, um, he had this building commissioned from um, Career and Hastings. Now, Joan, any of the furniture around here, it's original? No. No? No. So, so a little bit towards the end of the story I, I'm going to tell you today, um, when the, the building ended up in the hands of the Sisters of Charity, um, it eventually ended up um, with the city of Yonkers. And during that time, there was a, an auction. Ugh. Christie's and Sotheby's came in. They auctioned off most of the possessions in the house. But we are walking in the same places there where Mr. Boyce yeah. walked. I mean, that's the, yeah. that's the important part, right? The, the, fact, the most important part is that the building is still here. I mean, these buildings get torn down all the time. We lose them. Um, so this building is going to be saved. It is going to be saved through the use of slight <laughs> and light touches. So we are looking to restore and reopen. If you can just pan up to the ceiling. Uh, I've done it. I've done it. Yes, yes. 
in the fireplace, and that fireplace works. We do we uh, use it in the winter. So the fireplace works. That fireplace has warmed many people. <laughs> many many years back. Yes. For example, um, this was a couple of years ago. This was one of the John Wick movies. So that's Angelica uh, Houston and what's his name? Keanu Reeves. Keanu Reeves. Yeah. Um, they they were sitting in the library here. It's nice. So we're going to go into the drawing room now. So I hope you guys are enjoying. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. So this is the drawing room. Uh, this room is walnut. It's paneled in walnut. And This is one of the things I love about the history of the manor is if you could imagine William Boyce Thompson, I, I imagine like what his personality was because he would, he would have this kind of painting, which is Dionysus. Dionysus is drinking and eating and, and, and you know, he doesn't even have to open up his own mouth. He has women that are gonna just pour, um, you know, wine into his mouth for him. So it's just, there's um, a decadence that is, very romantic to me. <laughs> it's okay. Um, Jay Z filmed a music video in this room as well in the drawing room. In this room. Yeah. In this room where we're standing. Is that sofa? That yeah. Is that the one? Yes. Yes. And uh, as you guys can see in the background of that picture, that is a sofa. <laughs> <laughs> which is that so far. So George Washington did not work here, right? But Jay-Z did. Jay -Z. So let me browse the camera so you see how the room looks like. The details, you catch something different each time. Yep. So the details are different because that might be, you know, there was some kind of influence from many different cultures, artists, you know, that gave some touch to, to the inside and outside of the manor. So this is Mr. Borst's uh, study. This is where he talked about things. This is where he made many decisions that still influences today. So this is where things happen. And we still make decisions now in this room. This is where we work out of when we're here. This is where decisions still being made. Yes. So back, um, um, back when William Boyce Thompson was here, he was made a colonel in the Red Cross by um, I forget which president, sorry. He was made a colonel and went on a special envoy to Russia. And the point of doing that was to try to get the Russians not to give up to the Germans, first of all. And what he learned there was that people were gonna be starving to death. So that's when he decided to create the William Boyce Thompson Institute across the street. So that's the Institute for Plant Research. Cause he really had a vision, like how are we gonna feed all of these people? Um, how can people prosper without food? So um, there was a lot of innovation. 
talking since we're bringing up food and security, which we know Yonkers is still struggling with. We are going to have a flower and herb garden on site here. So similar to the plan, even though I know that they are two separate sites, we are going to have pay high school students to... Uh, this is one of my favorite pictures. This is um, Gwyneth Paltrow um, here when they filmed the Royal Tenenbaums. So they filmed that, that movie all over the house. Um, including those bathroom scenes um, where she's like sitting on the sink. Um, it's just, it was special. <laughs> yeah. So come on upstairs. So again, I don't know if you can capture this grand staircase. You sure can. <laughs> including the organ piping at the top. Now we are going to upstairs. So we should mention that for a while this building was part of Elizabeth Seton College. It was Elizabeth Seton College. Yes, it is. Um, and also, this is just a charity. There were nuns living upstairs until the early 90s. So, swimming in the swimming pool. Yes. Which is next? Or the nuns swam the up nuns? here. The nuns swam up here. Yes, they did. Hold on. Oh, just a minute. Sorry. No, it's, it's close. It's okay. <laughs> That's a pool. A full second floor swimming pool. Second floor swimming pool where the nuns came to swim, exercise, have some fun, chit chat. So originally there was a Tiffany window right at the end there. That was stolen uh, many years ago. But in my imagination, I think about William Boyce Thompson floating in his pool, looking up out of his Tiffany window. <laughs> and uh, it sounds nice to me, I like it. Again, John, if fools could speak. I know. <laughs> I know. Over the past probably 10 years, the most popular thing to do in this pool is to have um, murder scenes, um, anything torture. They love to, to do torture scenes, the t TV shows in this. <laughs> yes, they do. So here's one. Here's one of um, the TV show Gotham. And Gotham filmed here um, several times. They even landed a helicopter on the front lawn. So, so that's the pool. Oh. Somebody's gonna have to do the math. How many pounds, right, per square inch of water, which is directly over the kitchen. But again, you had bridge builders for this space. So Thank imagine you. floating, looking out at the yeah. sun, through the sun. It's beautiful. Sun that we have and floating. Amazing, guys, huh? Not too far from the Hudson River. Amazing. So, come on out. Now we're going to go outside. Let's so go. I'll, I'll just give you a, a little bit. So down the hall on the right, there's a, um, a pipe organ. That pipe organ is piped all throughout the house. So if you played it, you would hear it everywhere. So uh, back in those days, that was the stereo system. Right, the organ, the yes. Organ. Oh, we're not gonna go outside yet. We're gonna go to the basement. Quick, we're gonna go to the basement quick. Because there's something really special. Now, uh, aren't we missing something here? Didn't a famous person took a picture? It was outside? The steps, outdoor oh. steps. We have had famous people on these steps. Here's a couple, if you don't mind. Um, this was the blacklist. They filmed here several times, and you know I have a thing for Spader. Okay. Um, and here is a different uh, Law and Order. D'Onofrio, I think, is his name, um, and that's Doris. Does anybody know her last name? Very Wait. famous. Um, so we had so many things on the stairs. Wait till we get to the outside stairs first. <laughs> I have a treat for you on the outside stairs. Oh boy, that is a surprise for me. For 
for all the while. Oh, I'm taking no pictures, okay? You got it. So before we go in the basement, I'm just going to say we can only go down to the bottom step. We can't actually go into the basement. There's some safety stuff going on, but... And we might lose connection because we're live streaming. We might not be oh, able to get... Oh, you will lose connection for sure. Yeah. So we're just going to do this really quick. But yes. But it's, it's really important because if you notice, and if you don't mind just... I can show you quick on this door. You see this door? It has like a unicorn, it has a lion, very regal, right? Very proper, right? If you look on this door, you see this, I don't know, more Asian motif, right? Um, maybe mixed with a little exoticism of the time. So during that time, in the 20s, what these millionaires tried to do is they tried to outdo each other with these experiences, right? They're going to take you away on some, some, uh, some fantasy where you are able to be somewhere you've never been. Where you so, have to capture this. So William Boyce Thompson had the basement oh, created boy. to be a copy of the Imperial Palace in Peking, China. So I'll just say that one more time. The Imperial Palace in Peking, China. Do you have connection? Can you make it to the bottom That's of the right. stairs? That's right. If come you on. lose then... Uh... Just come down to the bottom of the stairs. You'll see these lucky bats on the ceiling. So imagine it's 1920 and you're going to a party. You're invited here to a party in the basement where you can have a kind of a transformative experience. So here we are. So William Boyce Thompson was also um, one of the biggest gem and mineral collectors in the country. He, when he died, he gave his collection to the Museum of Natural History. There's a room there in his name, right? Yeah, so There's he kept there. his gem and minerals here. And he had rose quartz, bushes hanging from the ceiling. And he had, um, he had, okay. Rue, what'd you think of the basement? Got goosebumps again. And I'm sure that that basement, tons of people enjoy the parties. They enjoy the socialization among the people. That's where a lot of business probably took place. Place. You know, because normally big deals happen in golf courses. Back then, maybe it happened in basements like that. In the basements like that. Like that. Hopefully some partying. Hopefully and hopefully some, some yep, yep. <laughs> so now we're going to go outside. Okay. I'm going to use a couple of architectural terms that I don't really understand. One of them is Palladian. This is a Palladian. I think um, there's also a word balustrade, a Palladian and a balustrade. Whatever it is, this is really special. Sorry, guys, about the light. It's too much, too bright. So, uh... Okay, So we're just going to take a quick walk to the end of the terrace. So the entire back has, is, has a, a full terrace. There used to be a building here um, called Bosch Hall, and that was built in the 60s for Elizabeth Seton College. That building is gone, and we're back to the original view. So what a beautiful view of the river. Although I can't, take, I can't take it anyway. You can't take it? I want to tell you that the reason that the dorm, well, the dorm came down uh, for safety reasons. We couldn't save it. But this is going to be an outdoor great lawn. So think movie filmings, premieres, seminars. Imagine an outdoor wedding with a view of the Hudson taking all over your backyard. Breathtaking. Yes. Think about children hosting conferences, events. That's all of that can take place, and we have all of this open green space with access to the river that will be outside. I'm going to show you rendering yeah. soon. Now, you know, Desiree, if I was to get married here, yes. 
I couldn't care less how long my marriage would last, maybe a lifetime. And also my guests, they would never forget they wouldn't forget that wedding. They wouldn't forget this wedding. We're just, we're just 30 minutes outside of the city. You have this amazing view. There's accessibility and open green space with the, with the water in the background, with the river in the background is going to be breathtaking. It's going to be epic. And we're going to be able to finally have a place to have events in our own backyard. And it's going to happen in Yonkers. And it's happening in Yonkers. So we're going to be able to do it in our own backyards. Yes. I want to show you this um, staircase really quickly. This is a really good example of some of the um, more interesting shoots we've had. Here's um, our, our back metal staircase. Here's a shoot that we did a couple of years ago. That's Kim Kardashian. That's Kim Kardashian, you know what. <laughs> so come on, I'm going to show you the rest of the... Um, did that, that happen right there? That happened right there on those stairs. I mean, uh, yes, that's it. Just yes. for comparison, look at the picture. And look at the stairs. It's exactly the same one. Kim Kardashian was in Yonkers. The proof is right there. That was her. Uh, it was a GQ spread. There's a ton of pictures online. Maybe they're a little uh, more inappropriate than this one. Yes, <laughs> likely. No, that's good. <laughs> that one is good. It's all over the, it's on the internet, correct? Yeah. It's on the internet. It's on the internet. So the, these are the, this is the North Garden. Um, you know, I really don't know that much about this gazebo, about its, its origin. But I know that William Boyce Thompson designed the, the gardens um, with Career and Hastings. Yeah, I got it. neighbor at the Wenwar. Well, guys, just imagine an afternoon in time sitting in there having a, whatever you like, a gin tonic or whatever, listen to some music, watching, looking at the water right here on this spot. It would be a, such a relaxing time. I know that Mr. Boyce enjoyed his life. He had to living in this paradise. <laughs> yeah. This is paradise now and it it's is. not done yet. So one of the most magical things about the mansion is this. And this is a 16th century church facade. Which one? This. This one? Yes. 16th century. 16th century facade. How you call it? Church facade? It's a, yes, it was the exterior of a church. This was the exterior of a church. Where? Do we know? No idea. Also, a really interesting thing about the past, you know, that things are appropriated and, you know, it's a and nice word, isn't it? Yeah, it moved like the, Taken. the, the <laughs> London Bridge was moved from London to elsewhere. Right, right. Well, um, you know, it, it, and it used to have a, a piece of Tiffany glass in it. And the Tiffany glass used to be right up there. Unfortunately, it was stolen, but that's where it used to be. I did bring a really special picture. Too much sun. Oh. I just want to show you this really yes. quick. That's an Annie Leibovitz photograph. Um, of Romeo and Juliet. So Annie has um, shot here a bunch of times, and she really likes it. I think like a lot of really big photographers, directors, um, really like our space. We've had Martin Scorsese shoot here, and Robert De Niro, and Stephen Mizell. Let's go to the center of the garden, is that okay? Sure. married right on the steps over there. <laughs> Let me show you where John got married. 
Beautiful, right? Right down there. Beautiful. So I may get married down there, too. Right. Who knows? Um, and again, you know, it's, we have this opportunity to save this place. It, it, I'm, I'm so grateful. It's beautiful, Joan, when we can connect the past with the present and enjoy it and also inform the people, because lots of people don't know about the history of Yonkers. Right. The things, we have treasures right here in Yonkers. And I thank you and Lala Goran for taking the time and allowing us to film these and let the people of Yonkers know our treasures. Do you want to see what the new renderings will look like? Love to. Okay. Let's so do now it. you guys are going to connect the past with the present. We saw how it looked like as of today, and we're going to now look at the renderings to see how it's going to look like in a very near future. So we went all around the building and now we're going to the front of the building. So we went around. So as you guys can see that's familiar to you, that's the boy center. Executive Boulevard is down there. So pretty soon this place will look sharp sharper than what it is today and a place that full of history there's always been a rumor that there's a tunnel that goes from here to the institute yes it's possible no i mean i've you know have you checked on it i lived here for years we did our best have you ever checked the dungeon the dungeon how do you oh. know about the dungeon oh <laughs> Yonka's voice knows everything. <laughs> so we did the full circle from the inside, outside. Now we're coming back inside and Desiree is going to show us the rendering of how the manor will look once the project concludes. Yes. So, Ru, I want to take you here to the manor and to the clubhouse. Okay? The manor and it's the clubhouse. Okay. So we're going to go from 1912 and then we're going to switch to now. And this is what we're restoring, reopening, and building through the use of light touches. You'll see the outside great lawn. Down here is the cliff house, which I'll get ready to show you renderings. It's a separate event space. And you'll have the main mansion as well. This is that flower and herb garden that I mentioned that we're going to have the, we're going to employ with the partnership with Groundwork Hudson Valley to have high school students growing and learn sustainability. And this is what you see. So, so very similar to what it looks now, just slight touches and finishes. Very slight touches and finishes. Okay. So that. just hold one second. Guys, before somebody asks, asks me, what's that light in the middle of the screen? That's a reflection, a light reflection. Yes. And this is going to be the cliff house, which is that downstairs level, and it can hold up to 200 guests seated. So this is really going to change event venues here in Yonkers. We're really, really proud of this space. Because it's going to be inclusive rather than exclude the local community that's here. They will have access to rent these spaces and to use them as well. 
so you guys saw how the future, the near future will look like. And guys, once again, Desiree, Thank if, you I'm, so much. if I'm thinking about renting the place or inquiring about it, who am I going For to call? photo shoots um, and publications, info at theplant.com. So call up, inquire, ask how, information is power. Thank you guys for joining us. I hope that you enjoyed our broadcast, yeah. connecting past with the present and looking at the future. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you so much, Ru. Thank you. Thank you, Ru.